It's not often you have a patient that's so excited that you have to make them be still for their adjustments. Hey y'all, been a while. I'm Dr. Bailey here at Lifespring Chiropractic in Austin, Texas, the best city in the world, arguably. Um, and I'm here with Alondra today and Mr. Duke. And we're actually not here for Alondra, we're here for Mr. Duke. So, um, Tell us a little bit about what brought y'all in to see us for dog chiropractic in the first place. Yeah, so Duke partial tore his ACL back in April. And so we've been just going through this long process of trying to figure out what's going to be good for him, what's helping, what's not helping. I get adjustments and I was like, let's just take them. And so Heck yeah. I did Google and I was like, found y'all and y'all had the best reviews. So I was like, oh, we'll take them here. My <laughs> husband was like... I don't know about taking Don to the chiropractor. I was like, <laughs> look at these videos. Yeah. And so he was like, again, so he took him. And then after the first visit, his leg was bowed out before. And then we were taking him for a small walk. And we noticed he was walking straight. And he mm -hmm. started sitting straight instead of on that right side where he used to lean to the left. When he sits, he sits straight down yes. now. Um, we can tell when he's tight because he'll lean and sit on that mm -hmm. side. But... Other than that, he's been doing so good. And it's only been like three visits. Yes, and we're so happy. And honestly, Duke is a great patient too. He's super easy to work with. He's, he's the kindest boy ever and he's repping UT, so let's go. <laughs> what is the biggest change you've noticed since beginning care? I know it's been a short time, but as far as like before he started getting adjusted, what was his pat walk pattern like? And then afterwards, what have you seen change, not only with his movement, but like maybe even mood or behavior? Yeah, and so we find that he's a lot more comfortable around the apartment, mm -hmm. like moving wise and like running around. Um, we do have to be careful because our <laughs> more is to get too excited. Like, oh. It's scary, but he's definitely moving a lot better. <laughs> yeah, it's you. He's like, it's you, Terminator boy. I know we're here for you. Don't worry. Um, he's been so like energized. He he can go on farther walks now. Awesome. Like he's been only doing, been able to do a quarter mile. Now he can do a whole half a mile. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so without him like starting to limp, we start noticing like yeah. he gets tired and he starts limping on it. I'm like, okay, that's done. But he's up to half a mile now. So that's awesome. <laughs> and y'all can probably see even on the video, like I'll have Duke walk around a little bit before we start. He has a little bit of a limp today. It's not nearly as bad as when I first saw him, but we do see like it sort of fades in and out. I'm sure when it's time for him to get adjusted again, you're like, oh, I can oh, see yeah. it creeping back in a little. And then what about like if someone was a little hesitant about bringing their dog in, what would you tell them? I would say try it. It's not going to hurt anything and you'll notice something within the first visit. Yes. Okay, <laughs> sweet. So we'll go ahead and get Mr. Duke adjusted today. He actually like loves his appointments. <laughs> He's super yeah. excited to be here and it's probably because I give away a lot. But, you know, treat? that is A-OK. -okay. Isn't that right, Mr. Duke? Yes, yes you good boy. Oh, you good boy. Duke, you good boy. Come here. Let's show them your walk. Good boy. You can notice he's limping on that back end a little bit. I'm going to get him to go all the way around the room. Come on, Duke. Yeah, there it is, that wiggle butt. You can kind of see that little hitch in his gait on that back end. Yes, and he tore the right ACL, correct? Mm -hmm. So back right, so not this one, but this one. And he kind of compensates with this left one. So we often find problems in both sides. Okay, big boy, are you ready to get yeah. adjusted? You ready? Come here, sweet boy. Oh. Come here, sweet boy. Oh, you're so cute. You put this little face. So we always start with an assessment. We'll just see what we notice. So um, we're finding spots that aren't moving as well in Duke's spine. And one of the biggest places that we check every single visit is the atlas. It's the most neurologically important because it is the closest to the brainstem, which has a lot of big implications for breathing, um, eyes, ears, nose, throat, basically any sort of life function. We're seeing a little bit of a tight spot in the middle of his back. We're just feeling along. You can see he's got some good bounce in there. You notice him just jiggling around. Back hip. So his right SI joint is rocked backwards. The left is rocked slightly forwards. And another common compensation patterns we see in quadrupeds is that they'll have a kind of a cross pattern. So if the right back is out, we'll often see the left front out, but that's not always true. So just something to keep in mind when we're checking stuff. Come here, cute boy. Oh, you're so good. We're gonna get you adjusted, Mr. Man. 
Come here. I like to keep them over the carpet so that there's not as much slipping and sliding going around. And we're going to start at the top for Duke. He's got a rotation on his atlas towards this right side. Come here, you big round boy. Good job. Yeah, mom's right there. Good boy. And we're just going to go yeah, right. Good job. Wow, so good. Oh, you love it, don't you? <laughs> You're just a mess. He's so happy with his life. Hi, you good boy. Are you ready for your next one? Maybe. Do you ready for the next one? No. Whoa. Whoa. Hold up. It's not often you have a patient that's so excited that you have to make them be still for their adjustments. Ready, Duke? Wow. Thanks. That was a good one, too. Yeah, not as much excitement with that one, huh? That's so good. Great job. Yes. And Duke, I've been adjusting for a bit. We This is our fourth or fifth visit. And I know that he's not a biter, but we always want to put safety first. You'll notice I get real close when we're adjusting because we're working with tender areas that sometimes they don't want me messing with so much. So we got to put safety of us and the animal first. We want to make sure everyone's taken right? care of. This is actually perfect. We'll go ahead and adjust his pelvis. So I'm going to be on the right SI joint right there. Wow, Dookie. <laughs> that was a good one, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Now you gotta waddle it off. Come on back. Put right here. Wow, good job, bub. One more. Good job, Duke. You're cracky today, buddy. Whoa, happy fella. Yeah. Whoa, good job. Whoa. <laughs> gonna catch that tail? You, you caught it. Whoa. <laughs> You're the best, buddy. You're the best. Okay, let me get this left hip while we're here. Uh, this is a real sensitive spot on most dogs, so if you're feeling your own dog, be careful around here. Um, all right. Yeah, good job, buddy. Yep, good job. You're really killing it today, bud. We're almost done. We got a few more things to check. Bring your little body around. We're going to check your shoulders. A little more restriction on that posterior glide on the right front shoulder. Let's extend. There we go. That's it. Now we have quite a bit more movement in that joint. The left side feels decent. We're going to challenge it a little just to make sure. Extend your little elbow. Good boy. Just a tiny bit. Good job. You're so good. <laughs> you are so good. Now we got to recheck the pelvis. Come here. Because it's the most important. And then we got to get the knee. Yeah, you know the drill. Oh, it's tough being such a big, handsome boy, isn't it? You can see kind of that sensitivity around here, too. Right there. Wow, good job, Dookie. And now, we're looking much better, much less sensitive. Still a little more in this hip. Here we go, Duke. Good job, buddy. And then for his knee, so if we know there's a partial tear, I tend not to adjust these by hand. I tend to use more activator because I can gauge the force a lot better with this. And we're gonna do this on your little knee. Yes, we are. So you can see how the leg, this is what she was talking about earlier, kind of bows out. And we're gonna just test how it bends and how it extends right there. Hold up, Duke. Let that come down a little, good boy. Good job, buddy. Wow, good job. Okay, you did great today, Mr. Man. Yes, you did. Wow, you did so good. Yes. So we're going to give you a treat because that's what we always do to him. He gets two for being so good today. There we go. You're so good. If y'all have any questions about what you saw today or if you're curious about some stuff about your own dog, feel free to leave some comments. And if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks for joining us and catch us on our next video. Go on. Home.